Okay, in this video we're checking out the FreeSky XSR SIM. This is a USB dongle that acts as a receiver, basically an XSR receiver or a D16 FreeSky receiver. Plug it into your computer and then you can um, uh, connect this up to all your, any you know, um, uh, simulators that are out there like Liftoff, uh, Velocidrone, etc. So if you don't want to have a cable going from your transmitter to your computer, uh, which of course, you know, pretty much all the usual transmitters out there can let you do that. Uh, if you don't want to deal with the hassle of plugging in and all that and changing the settings uh, for the for each particular transmitter, then you can get this device here and you just bind your transmitter uh, to this basically as a receiver and then you can be just uh, totally wireless and, and fly your simulator without any USB cable going from your transmitter to the computer. And this basically acts as an XSR receiver or a D16 FreeSky receiver, so obviously you're going to need some sort of Tyrannus or some sort of radio that um, can bind to um, the FreeSky D16 protocol. Uh, there's actually some instructions here that explain the um, binding procedure right there. I'm just going to actually show it to you. Uh, there's two LEDs on here. There's a green one and a red one, and I'll power this up and I'll show you all that. Now there's this uh, bind button that's under here, and you can actually press this little cover here actually moves around you can actually press on it you can hear it clicking I uh, if you take the little cover off you probably don't want to lose this little piece here you can see there's a there's a bind button down there so it's just like any other freeze guy receiver you're going to want to press and hold the bind button while you're powering it on and then uh the led will be i think it's going to be a solid green and a flashing red which means it's in bind mode so let me uh, just give you a little power supply here, and we'll hold the bind button down, and I'll plug this in, and we have a, can't really, this will come on camera here, it's kind of, they're right next to each other, there's a green light and a red light, and you go to your radio, and um, in this case this is a jumper T12 with a uh, multi-protocol module, and it's running OpenTX. This, uh, Procedure, bind procedure will be pretty much the same for QX7, uh, X9D, uh, Xlite, any of the Tyrannus that are running OpenTX. Just create a model and uh, you're gonna, you know, it's just going to be uh, a D16 uh, protocol model. And I just go to the bind section, which is right there. And while it's in bind mode, and hit the bind button and then the you got a red flashing light which means it's now in the bind it's actually now binding and we'll go ahead and stop this and then power cycle the receiver or the dongle and then now we have a solid green light which means we are now bound to the transmitter now if you turn off the transmitter the red light should be flashing which means we have a lost signal that's pretty much uh, the same way an XSR or an XM Plus receiver will behave. So if you're familiar with uh, binding with an XM Plus or XSR receiver, the procedure I believe is pretty much the same. Now it is also possible to do a firmware upgrade on the receiver here or the dongle if you want to. I'm not sure why that would be necessary. I, I, it pretty much works uh, out of the box. You just plug it into your computer, if you have like a Windows 10 PC, it'll show up as a, a device called uh, FreeSky Simulator. And then, uh, but if you want to uh, do a upgrade, there is an S port uh, pad inside here. So you have to take the plastic cover off. There's uh, this little, three little pads right there. And uh, again, it's like upgrading an XM plus or XSR receiver. You have ground five volts and an S port pad there. And then you can uh, install the firmware upgrade the same way you would do a, any XM plus receiver by connecting up to your radio and uh, up, upgrading the firmware via OpenTX. So, uh, not really sure that would be necessary. I'm not even sure if an upgrade even exists right now, but if there is a future upgrade at some point, uh, you'd have to take this cover off and then solder on some wires onto there and then uh, um, do the upgrade procedure like you would do on any other FreeSky receiver. Anyway, so I've already uh, tested this out and on my computer. I, I have Velocidrone and I've actually been flying the simulator with my jumper radio. Um, and it, and it works really well. I, it obviously, you, the procedures for your particular simulator are going to be a little bit different. Uh, you're going to vary by simulator, so you know obviously con, uh, consult the documentation for your particular simulator as to 
uh, how to set up your radio and the transmitter and all that kind of stuff. That's kind of beyond the scope of this video because there's uh, like six or seven simulators out there. And the procedures are not dependent on the this dongle here. It just it just behaves as a as another USB device. It would be the same as you would if you were just plugging in a cable into the transmitter itself. So that procedure isn't any different. The only thing here is that now instead of having a cable, you're completely wireless. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, I might be doing some sort of a live stream at some point, uh, flying Velocidrone, streaming it. Um, might be doing some multiplayer. So. If you guys have an interest in something like that, let me know in the comments below. I might be doing that at some point in the future when I get a little bit of free time. Hopefully not too long for now. But yeah, I'll be using this in, in that uh, live stream. If you guys are interested in checking it out, let me know in the comments below.